lay them out flat so I can get a good angle for the gaff. Got him. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's a nice one right there. Pretty good size. Gotta love the efficiency of the squid jig. School are really squid are a pretty interesting little creature. They're they're able to change colors super quickly. You got big eyes. Got those tentacles that everyone talks about with the suction cups on there. Shoot out black ink if they're ever threatened. Um, but for whatever reason, pretty much every fish likes them. All right, guys, we made it into shallower water. And I think now we're gonna start fishing for some bigger fish. Today the target is halibut. So we're gonna try and get our squid down to the bottom where those halibut are feeding. So what I have is a little three-way rig right here with about a foot liter to our weight. That's a six ounce uh, teardrop weight. And then about a three to four foot liter to the actual squid. And this is a two hook rig, two J hooks. You could substitute this bottom one for a treble if you like, uh, it's just personal preference but I have two single J hooks on this one. One at the top uh, of the squid and then one near the head. And we're gonna drop this down to the bottom. We'll drift around and hopefully there's some halibut down there. On. Haven't even been down for five minutes yet. We're on. Yeah, it's a halibut for sure. You can see those head shakes right there. Didn't even really finish setting up. Still got my squid jig all over the place here. And we got a fish on. Feels like a decent one. I don't know what it is. I said this in my last video, but for some reason, this rod seems to catch all of the fish. There he is. Yeah, he's not a giant, but I'm pretty sure he's a keeper. No, we'll just lift him in. Good, right in the corner of the mouth. All right, there you have it. There's our first halibut. Let's see how long he is. So here in California, minimum size is 22 inches. I think this one's probably like 24-ish. Let's see, get an official measurement. Oh no, bigger than that. 20, 28 inches. <laughs> Bigger than I thought. I think it's because I caught that big one in the last video. For some reason, this one looks smaller, but he's all of 20. Let's see, quick here. Measure again one more time. Yeah, 28 inches. Not a bad one. We'll take care of him and get our lines back in. Uh, like I said, that was within the first like four or five minutes of uh, me dropping lines in. So there's got to be some more fish down there. All right, drop it back down. See if there aren't any more. So, halibut. Even though they're not a schooling fish like a salmon or a striped bass, they definitely congregate. So where there's one, there's definitely more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle back around to where I got the last bite and see if there's another one waiting for me right there. And rain's starting to come down as well. Good one too. 
saw the bite there too. Yeah, this one feels like, I think this one's heavier than the first one. Once again, on the lucky rod, for whatever reason, this one seems, oh, look at him go. Look at him go. For whatever reason, this one seems to be getting all the fish. Oh man, some good head shakes here. Here he comes, it's a halibut. It's a good one for sure. Oh shoot. Oh my god, that's a big fish right there. Look at that wake he just put off. He saw the kayak and wanted to go immediately back down to the bottom. Yeah, I can see him on my fish run. He went all the way from the surface back down over halfway down the bottom. He went back down to like 40 feet of water. Just like that. That's a good fish. It's a gaffer for sure. There he goes again. We'll go on another run if he so pleases. There we go. That's a good fish right there. There we go. Got my little 28 incher right here. 29, whatever it was. And then this guy's gonna dwarf him. Okay. God, this is tough to do from a kayak. So many moving parts. Okay. He's on. Whew. See that? Look at that. I barely got him. Right in the roof of the mouth. Take that out like that. Look at that. There he is. Look at that Howie right there. That's a good fish. He's probably close to about the same length and weight as my last one that I caught in my last video, which was. 35 inches and about 17 pounds, maybe just under. Let's see what we got here. Okay. He's a touch smaller. This one's 33 inches. 33 incher, probably about 15 pounds, I guess. You can see the brown on one side and then the white on the other. And that's because these halibut, they sit on the bottom of the ocean, just kind of waiting for unsuspecting prey to swim over them. And then boom, they'll come up and ambush them. And yeah, it's a good one right there. 30, what did I say? 32 inches, 33 inches. Probably around 15 pounds. Quality fish for sure. You got blood everywhere. Yeah. All right, so the first one was 29 inches. Second one was 30, I think 32 or 33 inches. We're going for the 40 incher now. We gotta get a big one. Man, it, it was windy earlier and, and the rain was coming down for sure for a little bit there, but now it's turned into a really nice day. I mean, bright blue sky, it's probably like 60 degrees, hardly any wind. Uh, I'm sure it'll pick up again later in the afternoon, but right now, super nice conditions for sure. Nice day out on the kayak. And we got two halibut going for the third. Third, third. kind of heavy. Oh, there he goes. 
Apparently for a little bit there, he was just kind of swimming with the kayak, I think. Yeah, this is a heavy one. Could it be? Could it be our 20 pounder? Oh, I think it could. This one has potential. I think it's definitely bigger than the first two. Yeah, this is a big, big, big fish. Oh, there he goes. This might be the one. I'm hoping at least. Woo. So these halibut, when they come up, I mean, you can tell it's, it's not really running. It's kind of like dead weight, but for sure when they want to go, they will they will go. Like right here, I got a feeling he's gonna take off here. Yeah, if he, I mean, if he turns and wants to go back down the bottom, boom, he'll go straight back down in a heartbeat. I can see him on my fish finder. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh yeah, it's a big, a barn door, as they say, or a doormat. Studly one for sure. Oh, look at him. It's like gonna jump out of the water. There we go. I'm trying to lay him out flat so I can get a good angle for the gaff. I got him. I got him. Okay, let's get him on the stringer. Okay. Yep, that's their biggest one yet. Got him. I don't know where to put this. I guess I'll put it here. Oh, I think I got, this might be the 20 pounder. He definitely has a chance to be. Yeah, I think he's 20 pounds, guys. I think we did it. I'll get an official measurement when we get to the uh, shore, but. He's got the making of a 20 pounder. Let's see. Let's see how much he measures. Oh, he's bigger than the board. Where does the board go? 36 inches. So he's about 30. I know this isn't an official measurement. He's about 37 inches. I think he's one inch bigger than this board. So it's gonna be close. So I caught one in my previous video, I think actually the most recent one, that was 35 inches. And that one ended up being 17 pounds. So this one's about 37 inches. And he, I mean, he's thick. He definitely could be 20 pounds. We'll, we'll get a weight on him when we get back to shore, but let me bleed him. Holy smokes. Bada bing, bada boom, baby! Uh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. 
Hold on there, buddy. Whew. Look at it. It's gonna flip this thing. This is probably the most epic day I've ever had on the kayak. Well, I'm not gonna lie, the first one looks kind of small now. Even though that's a 28 incher, I mean, I'd take that any day. But started off with a 28, then got, uh, what was it, 33? And then this last one was a 37. Whew! Oh, God. Gotta love those squids. Well, I probably didn't explain that very well, but if you're a follower of this channel, I've said it a few times, my goal for 2020, or one of my goals for 2020 is to catch a 20 pound halibut. And I think this one's pretty close. I mean, it's it's right there, right on the edge. So I'm gonna head back to shore, clean up a bit, and I'll catch you there with the official weight to see if it is indeed my 20 pounder. So we'll catch you there. All right guys, back at the beach, back here again with our scale, we're at zero. We're about to find out if I made the 20 cut mark. Let's see. All right, there you have it right there. 20, literally 20 pounds right on the dot. We made it. All right guys, well, super fun day on the kayak. Like I said before, this is the best day halibut fishing I've ever had. Doesn't matter if it's a kayak or boat or whatever. So not too many days you can get like this. So I said earlier, but my goal for this season was to catch four 20 pounders, a 20 pound lingcod, a 20 pound salmon, a 20 pound striped bass, and a 20 pound halibut. So luckily, Today we knocked off the halibut. We still got three more to go, but there's still plenty of time. I mean, prime fishing season is just about to heat up here in the Bay Area. So, appreciate your guys' view. Hope you guys are staying safe. If you are able to get out and fish, please, please, please make sure you're doing it responsibly and keeping in mind the safety of yourself as well as others. So, again, thank you guys for the view. And until the next video, thanks for watching.